play ball? Hey, April. What's up with the shoes? I guess the cobbler's kids have no shoes. Oh, well, yeah, Derek's a farrier, but we only put shoes on the ones that really need it. Well, what do you mean? I thought all horses needed shoes. No, uh, Fina's a thoroughbred. Her feet are a little bit thinner. Mizna's a cross, and she's got pretty sturdy feet, and I'm actually not riding her that much in the arena now, so she's mostly out on pasture on soft footing, so she doesn't really need shoes. Well, you know, it's kind of funny. There's women in my barn, and some of them say horses have to sh have shoes all around, and then these other women say that all shoes are really bad. And you know? Yeah. Well, you know, I feel like I let the horse tell me what it needs, and, uh, you know, if, they, if they've got good feet, and they're in an environment where they're comfortable and they're able to perform at the level you need them to without shoes, then that's fine. Um, if, however, this mare, she's great on the trail, but if I take her into an arena where the footing's a little bit compacted or firm or even here on the rocks that we have around the property, she's pretty sore. So, and back when she lived in Oregon, it wasn't that big of a deal because she was in a drier climate. But um, once we moved her here where it's, it's abrasive footing and a lot of moisture, her feet are... You know, when we go get pedicures, they soak your feet so right. they can shave off all the callus. And unfortunately here, nature's doing that to her feet. She's out yeah. in a lot of moisture and then out on abrasive footing. And it's just get like getting a pedicure every day. And eventually she'd run out of foot. So in her case, we put shoes on just to slow that process down so she doesn't exfoliate her foot too quickly. I mean, she's actually due for a trim right now, but she does a pretty good job of kind of trimming her own feet, just running around in the pasture. But... When I do take her and start jumping her a lot and we compete on, on some of the arena footing, she gets pretty sore unless she's got shoes on. So, you know, it's whatever they need. I guess there's no one size fits all hoof care. No, no, it's really individualized. It depends on the horse, their genetics, their environment, um, and what you're asking of them. But you know, there's a lot of stuff out there about on the internet, like is there anywhere that's a really reliable source that I could look at for more information on hoof biology. That's not just someone's oh, opinion. Oh, for sure. Of course. The Equilibrium Institute classes, we try to really cover those bases and have you know, really good biomechanical, scientific-based research about the foot and its needs and different methods for shoeing or not or boots or any of the above. But Arm yourself with knowledge to help you, your veterinarian, and your farrier make the best decision for your horse. Sign up today to take the equine podiatry course at www.equi-libriuminstitute.com.